Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on customizing hatches in Illustrator. We're going to be using Illustrator's built-in pattern hatches which are found up here in the pattern section under the swatches library on the left and down under patterns. Now Illustrator has a series of basic graphics for dots, lines and textures which I quite like to use in my own work and by default these are in the black and white format so I'll just open up each of these. These are the dots this is the lines, and we'll just make this a bit wider, and these are the series of textures you get by default. And I've copied a few of these out to these squares here. Now, by default, and we'll make a few more just on here, these textures are black and white lines in their kind of default state. But what we can do is we can customize these to change the color, change the size, the line weights of them, or even change the pattern depending on what you want to use. To customize these hatches, once you've selected one, you'll see it comes up in your little preview window for your fill down in the bottom left. If we drag that onto our artboard, like so, we'll have a little option where we can see that particular fill and it's grouped up with an invisible square here. And this invisible square denotes the way the pattern's going to be repeated time and time again. So that's the kind of repeating element of the pattern. So if we select that, ungroup it, just by going object, ungroup and we'll break it down into this invisible square and the series of lines that it's made up of. If we select all of this and deselect the invisible square we can then change the color of these lines. I could make them red for example. Let's try a nice blue there. We can up the line weight if we want them to be thicker. We could also start to play around with the pattern as well. I'm not going to change the pattern too much because this pattern's set up to be a nice repeating pattern. If we start to play around with it and vary it, you might get weird inconsistencies in the repetition. So we're going to leave it as it is. And when we're happy, we're just going to select back the, the objects again and regroup it. So you know, object group. So it's grouped again with that invisible square. And this is quite important that you regroup it back to how it was originally in order to reuse it as a pattern. Once it's regrouped, you can then select it, and we're just going to do the reverse of what we did before. We're going to click, drag it, and drop it back into this fill hatch down in the bottom left. Once you've done that, you'll see it's kind of automatically come up as a fill, and it's almost filled in the hatch we've made. Don't worry about that. Just make a new shape. I'm just going to use a rectangle, drag it out, and you'll see that that hatch is now in that shape. And once you've made it, you can kind of just leave it to the side of your artboard and we can always sort of select previous hatch, use the color picker tool and pick up that hatch in our own pieces as well. As well as this, if you want to customize a hatch scale or rotation, we can also select an object and in the object, transform and scale options. If we scale and make sure we're transforming the pattern but not the object, we can then transform the scale so I could make it 50% smaller and we can have a look at the preview there or we could make it 500% bigger see the preview there and it just transforms that scale that pattern within the box and not the object itself this is the same for rotation so we could go object transform rotate and if you're transforming the pattern but not the object we can rotate that pattern in there as well so I can flip it by 50 degrees if I wanted to and you can see it rotating there as well. So that was a quick tutorial into how to customize pattern hatches in Illustrator by changing the line weight, the line color, and also rotating and scaling those hatches. Thank you for watching, and if you want to see any other video tutorials on my channel, please be sure to check them out.